Hi, my name is Sharik and I'm one of the tutors here on Czech Tutors, formerly InstaEDU. And today I'm going to talk about the distance formula, a pretty common topic in geometry classes. So the problem I provided today is on finding the distance between the points negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4, 4. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just plot these points, because I find that it's very helpful for students, um, particularly in ge geometry, for them to draw these problems out just so that they can better visualize what it is that's going on. So first let's point, or plot rather, negative 2, negative 3. That would be here, as indicated by the purple dot. And then let's plot negative 4, positive 4, and the y, which is here. So if we now um, draw a line, between these two points, we can see that this is the line whose distance we're actually calculating, since this is the line that will connect these two points and will represent the distance between these two points. So there's definitely a formula um, that we can just plug and chug um, the coordinates that we've been given into to calculate the distance between the points. And I should note that if this were a live lesson, I would actually have asked the student to provide this for me because, you know, I think it's good for me to make sure that they've been paying attention in class, for one, and also just so I can, you know, gauge their level of understanding of the material just so that I can know how much help they need. So the formula for the distance or calculating the distance is here. And it's d, the distance, is equal to the square root of the difference between the x-coordinate squared plus the difference between the y-coordinate squared. So if we go ahead and start plugging in, plugging, into the, plugging in the coordinates we've been given into this, what we'll find is that we'll have d is equal to x2, in this case negative 4, minus x1, negative 2, crazy line. squared plus y2, which is 4, minus negative 3, squared. Um, and I should mention that it doesn't matter um, which of the ordered pairs you designate as subscript 1 or 2, just so long as you maintain the actual ordered pair. So in this case, x2 is negative 4. Therefore, y2 has to be 4, since that was what was in the ordered pair. So if we continue from this point on, it's pretty much just simple math. So negative 4 minus negative 2 is negative 2. So negative 2 squared is 4. 4 minus negative 3 is the same as 4 plus 3. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 squared is 49. So that means that we have d is equal to the square root of 53, which if we plug into our calculators is roughly equal to 7.28. So what this means is that the distance between these two particular points is 7.28, which is the final answer. So this was just a um, short example of how I go about solving problems using the whiteboard on our online tutoring platform. Um, if you have any interest or, you know, in me potentially helping you solve all the problems or helping you out, feel free to contact um, me at the link I provided here for my Chegg Tutors profile. Um, my strengths are math and science. I'm a bioengineering student, so I can, you know, pretty much cover most of the math and science subjects, particularly calculus, um, algebra, um, biology, chemistry, and so on. Um, so again, if you'd like to contact me for more help, feel free to contact me on Check Tutors. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.